Aloha freaks! I'm still reading from Shit Creationists Say. Because I'm bored. And I'm flared, so I'm like still limiting my activity. So I'm grounded with the internet and an attitude. So <laughs> I'm gonna read some more from Shit Creationists Say. It's a wall of text. I think it's um some crazy. I don't know what the agenda is. Like it I'm not reading from any um current agenda there doesn't seem to be a current agenda here it's just a bunch of crazy about nephilims and um andromedans and shit so we're gonna talk about some crazy shit let's get some learning justine okay this is just i'm gonna keep, try to keep up try to keep up man try to keep up hybrid state as a nephilim I would profess to know she's a Nephilim. As a Nephilim, so here we go. This is where we're going. As a Nephilim, I would profess to know my parents, and neither are human. The lies book the lies books placate are to groom and indoctrinate such notions of perversion and heinous acts. With English being the new tongue of Babel, with its hit tight and Chaldean Babylon lineage, can do nothing but reveal new revelations. Andromeda, look at the world and see Rome in the middle of it as the spirit of Rome comes from the neighboring galaxy. This shows not only the history with the Greek-Roman pantheon's connection, but also namesake with Princess Andromeda and more current with Hubble and his telescope and his known love for our neighboring galaxy and starseed race known as the Andromedans. Smoke. It's like some fucking fan fiction. <sighs> <clears throat> a small group of Andromedans broke away and are now known as the Fallen. Yet they fell for love, not for lust. The love of another starseed race known as Draconians. God damn, this is some fan fiction. Um, Draconians. The word Draconian used frequently on news channels to express a rule of law, yet still a starseed grouping. These Draconian women would equate to a Wiccan witch nowadays, and witches are off-worldly and not the human women portrayed in Genesis. Archangel Michael is Andromedan, and its cohorts are in pursuit of those who fell, and in the guise of righteousness indoctrinate the masses to hate Nephilim, who between their Andromedian fathers and Draconian mothers are the first spectral beings crafted and created on this rock, and true heirs to it. The first Nephilim, A D A M, A dot D dot A dot M, a draconian Andromedian man. Adam stands for a draconian, a, a Andromedan man. And O blood, this blood group is the first blood, as its foundation is it can be given to all other blood groups. Yet an O negative can only receive its own blood group, given titles such as blue blood, first blood. worry about my mental health. <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> the spirit of the Nephilim have continuously been reincarnating into their descendants, and some of these would be known as men and women of renown, such as King Arthur and Joan of Arc. This continuum made so by the genetic memory in the RH negative blood groups and brings gifts such as clairvoyance and the ability to fathom past lives and existences. With EL, with L, Michael, being the channel of Jesus and the guise of sacrifice and persecution indoctrinating many to hate, not very Jesus-like, then the Antichrist, pagan Christ, and first Nephilim has been mocked as the devil and has an uphill struggle struggle to wake others up even though the evidence is in codex in the very tongue we share. <coughs> and then there's a meme it says hold on to your butts and they continue. No. Now Kayla comes in. Very interesting. I have always thought it was strange that the Bible said they saw the daughters of men and took them to be their wives. If it was such a crime against nature, how is it possible that they procreated? And why was it such a bad thing that the fallen taught men how to perform life saving surgeries? But what's your take on the classic draconians being reptilian beings who feed on lower energy and how, and, and how that influenced Western religions? 
Okay, Matthew says, the crime is they were hybrids, not just of human, but beasts also, and they the hypothermed on men and women and consumed them and all that was good. They lay waste to everyone and everything they consumed, the flesh and blood of humans, hum, humans, <laughs> humans, and those who weren't enslaved. It wasn't a good time to be a human being in those times. It was terrifying. But make no mistake, they're on their way again and they're already witnessing their arrival. And once again, it's going to be a real bad time to be human and not it of the tribe of our creator. Heathens, be very afraid. They're coming for you. For you. <laughs> and the final thought <coughs> Justine, the original poster, the OP, comes in and says, Kayla Van Boven, it's a continuation. Of, oh, did I just dock somebody? No, no. It's a continuation of the... Doxy. It's on the fucking internet. Kayla Van Bowen. It's a continuation of the 500,000 year Orion Wars. The Andromedans were channeling propaganda through vessels. So by the time they were here, most would believe that Draconians are ravenous and have been looshing the heck out of people. Looshing. I think they meant loosing. Looshing the heck out of people on this earth plane. The Draconians were here first, and they have a planet after planet destroyed, and their numbers are now low. This is why a small number, 200, of Andromedans fell not only for love, but the importance of protecting the Omega energy. Oh, um, and keeping balance to the source. You could look at it like that Draconians are sheeps in wolves clothing. With Andromedans being the opposite, there's is a much draconian symbology in Britain with all the associations of dragons and pagan links. Yet you can find the Andromedans signature to with places that have the E-L in caps, L suffix, and would link with Abrahamic faiths. So no, it's not pagan. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. We take it. We take it. Because we want to do magic too so bad. We want it. We want it. God says no. Kayla, so your theory is that the Andromedans are the reptilians and not the draconians, or that they have long been at a game of psyops? I found the SpaceX launch today very interesting. The new military branch of Space Force seems to be giving a lot of validity to multidimensional wars. The end. I can't figure out why we so dumb. Why are we so dumb in this country? Why are we so dumb? Just can't figure out why are we so dumb. These motherfuckers homeschool. 